could soon be new rules for pet owners in Dorchester County. News 2's Taylor Murray is live at the Dorchester County Council Chambers. And Taylor, you tell us tonight that an ordinance that helps to define what is actually considered animal abuse, it passed. This is just the first reading for that, right? That's right. And Dorchester County officials tell me that their current ordinance they have right now on animal care has a lot of loopholes. So when they're trying to prosecute cases of animal abuse and neglect, pet owners oftentimes get off the hook. And that's what they're trying to change. Dorchester County wants to keep dogs and cats in the community safe from neglect and abuse. But they say it's going to require revising the laws that are currently in place. So we have an animal control ordinance, but unfortunately the way it's been written previously, it allowed some loopholes in enforcement. The county's public information officer, Tiffany Norton, says up until now, what's considered abuse and neglect hasn't really been clear. And we're hoping that by closing those loopholes, we'll be able to better enforce these laws going forward and protect our animals in Dorchester County. The new ordinance lays out new rules that pet owners must follow or risk being prosecuted. Guidelines for when animals must be treated by the vet will require pet owners to provide care when an animal has suffered an injury. Restrictions have been set on the type and weight of the chain, rope, or leash that can be used to tether your dog. The tether must not weigh more than one-eighth of the animal's body weight. And owners of pets deemed dangerous by animal control officers must now have liability insurance for the pet's entire lifetime. This is a huge step in the animal welfare movement because prior to this, it has been a little murky. Dorchester Paws is working with the county to help firm up these laws on animal care. I spoke with the executive director, Kim Alstead, who tells me that the new ordinance will allow stray cats to roam free in the community as long as they are spayed or neutered, microchipped, vaccinated, and have their ears tipped. And we re release them back into the community where they were found so they are a placeholder so no other cats can come in. And so this greatly reduces the over pet population problem that we are suffering immensely from currently. Now, this ordinance did pass its first reading tonight, but it still has to come before Dorchester County Council two more times for a vote before anything can go into effect. We will keep you updated on this. I'm live in Dorchester County, Taylor Murray, Count On 2.